For me, growing up in Indiana, I just assumed that it was just a you know, normal state school, like anyone can get into it was kind of what I thought. And then it wasn't until I actually sat down and was evaluating all the schools, I realized, oh my gosh, like this is a really good school. We have the academics, we're a big school, uh, which was something I wasn't sure if I wanted at the time, but I'm really happy that I chose it. I applied to 11 or 12 schools for my college application. Purdue was the first one I applied to. I kind of got more interested in this architecture side of things. Ended up choosing Purdue. There is no architecture program here. I saw the multidisciplinary engineering program and I like read the description and it basically said, you know, people who go into this major typically end up in either product design, consulting, or architecture. I really felt like I didn't have a voice my freshman year. I didn't really make any friends and I was really struggling with that. So sophomore year, I had a better idea of what I could get involved in by my sophomore year, just because I had seen all around me, you know, people getting involved in the ways that they could and now there were more options to. So for me, I was just ready to kind of jump on anything. <laughs> and so I think just through those really kind of going with my major multidisciplinary kind of moments where I was able to take leadership. I was able to find my voice and then kind of be able to push for what I want in the future, which kind of got me into like college engineering ambassadors, getting into a higher position within the women in engineering program. Just showing that I care and that I have that voice kind of got me there. Growing up, even when I was in elementary school, I feel like college was something that was always just like expected of me. And I think the reasoning for that was because my parents immigrated, they saw you know, the power that education had. Seeing that with an education, you can get past all these barriers of English is not their first language. They learned it, they you know, went through that education process and were able to be employed. Whatever I do, I wanna make sure that I'm honoring them and then also honoring myself and my future.